Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is our recap of April 8th through the 11th. Blake, there was a lot of good series this week, not too many sweeps. Starting the AL, Toronto took two of three from Seattle. They came up a little short in the last game, I believe in extra innings, correct? So, yeah, yeah, awesome. um, could have swept them, but didn't happen there. Cleveland ended up taking two of three from the White Sox. Tampa took two of three from the Angels. Baltimore just swept Boston tonight. Yep. Um, this is Thursday when we're recording it. It was an extra innings win. KC swept Houston, which is a big deal. We're going to be coming out with a video about Houston and their woes to start the season, how that's going to kind of dictate how the rest of the season goes. So stay tuned for that if you're listening to this. And the A's took two of three over the Rangers. I think everybody's surprised by that, <laughs> especially yep. with how the Rangers have been playing lately. They've actually been um, started off pretty hot um playing well but somehow lose two of three to the a's i get it's a division rival rival so yeah. sometimes these things happen in baseball so um but why don't you go over the nl yeah brewers took two or three from cincinnati with the fourth game being postponed um kind of same thing in with the mets and atlanta mets took two or three from atlanta before that fourth game got postponed so that's uh Positive step for the Mets. Uh, Phillies took two or three from St. Louis. Arizona took two or three from Colorado. Not really much of a surprise there. Padres took two or three from the Cubs and uh, had one of the wildest games I've seen in a long time. Down eight nothing and come back to win. Um, always like to see stuff like that happen. Um, and then the Nats took two or three from the Giants, which uh, which, which surprised me. Why don't you go go over the three uh, interleague series? Yeah. Also, just adding on that Nats and Giants, it was Blake Snell's debut yeah. as well. Yep. And that didn't go as planned. So um, I'm sure he'll get it going. But yeah, in the interleague, the Yankees took two of three from the Marlins. Honestly, probably could have swept them, but fell yep. short, a little short there. Pittsburgh split with Detroit and then the Dodgers two of three over Minnesota. So yep. um, the week went fairly like we thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when we're making our predictions, um for sometimes picking some sleepers to try to see if we can get the record the best it can be but yeah. um as far as the series goes i think the only ones that that were surprising were the a's two of three from the rangers yeah mets two of three from atlanta but that's a four game series so yeah. um could still split there and then the Nats, two of three from the Giants. Is there and any was, other ones that you well, were surprised by? I would say KC sweep in Houston. Like, I don't oh, think yeah, any, like KC. Yeah. anybody predicted that. Uh, I don't think anybody – like, I, I thought KC could win that series. I didn't I didn't think there'd be a sweep. Like, I, I thought there'd be no no chance they would sweep. But, yeah, um, that that was the biggest surprise for me was, was Kansas City. Yeah, there's some pretty good series this weekend. A lot of interleague, but we're going to start in the AL, and we're going to start with the Halos. They're heading there uh, off to Boston. It's mm -hmm. going to be a repeat series from last weekend. Uh, Reed Detmers versus Tanner Houck, Griffin Canning versus to be determined, and then Tyler Anderson versus Brian Bayo. The Red Sox did take two of three last weekend. I'm going to go with the Angels, take two of three in Fenway. Devers might be going on the IL. Stories on the IL. Uh, Cutter Crawford also banged up his knee. I think he was supposed to be the game two starter. So yeah. um, I'm going to take the Angels to – to win two of three, Detmers has looked good. Anderson's looked good as well. I'm going to go with the Angels. I'm going to take the Red Sox. Um, they're coming off of uh, a tough series. Obviously, it's uh, uh, Pavetta and Crawford getting hurt. That's a little bit of a blow to the pitching, but I, I think the Red Sox will win that one. Yep. And then we got the Yankees going to Cleveland. Usually, the Yankees have Cleveland's number, but they have Clark Schmidt on the mound, Luis Gill, and Nestor Cortez going up against Carlos Carrasco. Okay, whatever. Tristan McKenzie and Logan Allen. For some reason, I'm just vibing with this Guardians team lately. They've been playing really good they baseball. Yep. So because they're at home, and I think that, you know, a little extra juice there um, playing the Yankees, I'm going to take the Guardians to actually win this series. Um, yeah, I just think that they've been playing really good baseball, and, you, you know, sticking with the hot hand on this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Yankees here. Um, for them, I think they need to get Judge going a little bit. A little, little bit of a slow start for Judgy, but uh, I think he'll get going this series. All right. And then Texas is going to Houston. This is another repeat series. Uh, this time we're doing it in Houston. 
Dane Dunning versus JP France, Andrew Heaney versus Ronel Blanco, who was 2-0 and and was almost through uh, back-to-back no-hitters. <laughs> Nathan Eovaldi versus Christian Javier. I'm going to go with Texas on this one. Houston, I it feels like a spiral situation. Um, I think that... I think essentially they're going to... Uh, they're they're playing the Braves after this series too, and I just think this this could be uh, a bad situation for Houston. Yeah, I'm gonna go Texas too. Um, just Houston. Um, I don't know. Like it's it's now or never for these guys. This is it's a big six games for these guys. Um, coming up, so I'm gonna stick with Texas here. Um, they're they're coming off of a, a tough series against the A's, and I think they'll bounce back nicely against the Astros. Yeah, the last American League series that we have is the Twins heading into Detroit. I'm going to go ahead and take the Twins on this one, but the pitching matchups look like this. Pablo Lopez versus Tariq Skubal, Joe Ryan versus Kenta Maeda, and Bailey Ober versus Jack Flaherty. It looks like it could be a pretty competitive series. Mm-hmm. Obviously, division rival foes. Yep. Uh, but I do like the Twins pitching just a bit better. Tariq Skubal, I'm sure, will throw well, but he has to pitch against Pablo Lopez so it should be a pretty good game. I'm gonna go with the twins in this one. Yeah, I'm gonna take the twins too. Uh twins, they didn't I don't I wouldn't say they necessarily played bad against the Dodgers. Um a couple of good games in that series, but uh um yeah, I'll take the twins as well. In the National League, we have the San Diego Padres heading into LA. It's the second time they're meeting this time, first time in the States. Yep. Uh they split their first two games in Korea. It's gonna be Michael King versus Yamamoto. They did get to Yamamoto in his first career start. Yep. Matt Waldron versus Gavin Stone and you Darvish versus James Paxton. Paxton's looked pretty good. Yamamoto's had two bounce back starts. I'm going to take the Dodgers, but I do think it's going to be a really close series. Yeah. Um, this is a big rivalry. I'm going to take the Dodgers as well. Um, it's going to be interesting to see kind of what adjustments Yamamoto makes his fastball get got hit hard. Like you mentioned, maybe, maybe it's more off speed against, against the Padres. They had a pretty good game plan against him game one of the season. Yep. Or game two, I should Heading- say. Heading into Miami, we have the Braves. They're going to have Max Fried, Chris Sale, and Charlie Morton pitching <laughs> against a team that is has had a very bad month of April. They have uh, the Marlins will have Trevor Rogers, Max Meyer, and Jesus Lozardo opposing Fried, Sale, and Morton. Like I said, best team in baseball, in my opinion, in the Braves. They haven't played like it just yet, but they will get going. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take the Braves to possibly sweep Miami, but I am going to have them winning the series. Yep, I'm going to join you right there. I would not be surprised if this was a sweep. You got your uh, three top dogs going for the Braves, and and like you said, the Marlins have had a whale of a time hitting the ball. Yep, and we have a uh, battle of Pennsylvania here, Pittsburgh going into Philly, and uh, it's Jared Jones versus Ranger Suarez, Bailey Falter versus Christopher Sanchez, Marco Gonzalez versus Spencer Turnbull, and then Zach Wheeler's going in the fourth game, not sure. Um who's going in the fourth game for Pittsburgh, but game one was played tonight. Mm -hmm. The Phillies ended up winning five to one. Our predictions were made before the game because that would be unfair if we (laughs) did it afterwards. Right. So um, I took Pittsburgh to win this series or split Uh, Blake. I believe you took the Phillies uh, to win or split. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good series. Um, yeah, Pittsburgh's been hot. I mean, they're nine and three to start this year. Nine, nine, four, I guess you should say now, but um Coming off of uh, two or three against the Orioles, a couple uh, emotional walk-off wins against one of the best teams in baseball. So um, they're off to a really good start. Yeah, absolutely. Then we have St. Louis heading into Arizona. Arizona had a tough schedule about, you know, seven days ago where they had to play uh, Atlanta and the Yankees in the same week. They're going to get a Cardinals team that, to me, is kind of bleh to start the season. Steven Matz versus Brandon Fott is game one. Kyle Gibson versus Ryan Nelson is game two. And Miles Miklas versus Zach Gallon would be game three. Um, like I said, I'm just like, I'm kind of like whatever about the Cardinals at this point. Um, Arenado and Goldschmidt, they're starting to, I don't know. It, it, I thought they were going to be a lot better than what they have been so far. Mm-hmm. Um, they did just get Sonny Gray activated. But he's they not going to pitch in this series. Yep. Arizona's look good as well. Um, they just fell short a little bit last week. So I'm going to take Arizona to win. I I think it's going to be mainly off of uh, more run score than it is the pitching matchups, though. Yeah, I'll go St. Louis here. Uh, I just got a, I just got a hunch that they're they're going to get it done. Um, I like, 
you know, you got Gibson uh, and Miklas going in that series. So, um, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens. My, my might be a bad take at the end of the weekend, but we'll see. We'll see. You've been hitting on them. So, <laughs> um, yeah, next we got Milwaukee going into the Brewers. This is going to be our first interleague matchup. Yep. I'm going to take Baltimore on this one, but it is going to be Freddie Peralta versus Tyler Wells, D.L. Hall versus Dean Kramer, and Colin Ray going up against Corbin Burns, who's looked electric to start the season. Milwaukee's been playing well, and I think I've probably taken them to lose the, multiple times over the past couple of series. Yep. I'm going to take them to lose again just because I am on the Orioles train. Um, they did just sweep the Red Sox. Now they got to face the Brewers at home. Mm -hmm. Um uh, Jackson Holiday's up. I just like the vibes that's going on there. They're they're a really good team. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take Baltimore in this one. I'll take the birds too. Uh it's an exciting team to watch, man. Uh, Colin Cowser, uh, you got Holiday up now, Rodriguez. Uh it's 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 a fun team to watch for sure. Yep. And we got the Cubs heading into Seattle. It's gonna be Jordan Wicks versus Bryce Miller, Shota Imanaga versus Emerson Hancock. And Javier Assad versus Luis Castillo, who's had a brutal start. 0-3, 6.89 ERA to start the season. Yep. I am going to go with the Cubs. Cubs have been playing pretty good baseball while the Mariners can't hit right now. No, um, They're really struggling at the plate. They barely pulled one out against Toronto, who's also struggling at the plate. So, um, And they, they really had a chance to potentially sweep that series. I know Jay, Jay's fan. Blake's a Jay's fan, right? They had what Castillo, Kirby, and Gilbert, right? Yep. Going yep. against the Jays. Mm -hmm. You know, I took the Mariners to beat the Jays in their home opener. They just can't hit right now. So I'm gonna go with the Cubs. Yeah, I'll take the Cubs too. Like it's I think that Castillo will eventually bounce back, but boy, has he just gotten rocked. Like the Jays, they hammered him. They hammered his sinker, and it was it's it's kind of weird because he's just been so dominant for pretty much his whole career so it's a little bit weird to see him get touched up like this yep then we have san francisco heading into tampa it's going to be keaton win versus to be determined i'm assuming that would be a bullpen game for the Rays. yep logan webb versus ryan pepio and blake snell second start against zach eflin and uh i'm gonna take the giants on this one just based off of webb and snell pitching back-to-back -back days yeah tampa is not a team that can hit very well brandon Lau just went to the il um, they did just take two of three from the angels, but it wasn't the most impressive two of three, <laughs> um, to, to be honest with you, like, um, the angels probably should have took two of three in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, they had a little throw 38 pitches in the first inning and escape with no run. So they've been, they've been playing with danger. They haven't been too hot to start the season. So I'm gonna take the giants in this one. I'm gonna take the giants as well. I mean, you can't go wrong with Webb and Snell there back to back. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take San Fran. Their offense has got to get going, though. Yep. Then we got Kansas City heading into New York. This is a 2015 World Series rematch right here. Yep. Uh, it's going to be Michael Walker versus Luis Severino. Alec Marsh versus Sean Manaya, who's actually been really, really good to start the season. Yep. Maybe it's because he cut his hair finally and cleaned it up. <laughs> uh, and then Cole Reagans versus To Be Determined. I'm just kidding about the hair thing, but... <laughs> he, he looks he looks so much better now um but i'm gonna take kansas city they're hot they just swept houston now they're going in to face the mets who are you know not as good as houston so i would assume easily that they would take two of three from the mets who have yep. been been so 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 far i'm with you on that one um i'm excited to watch that game three um i i'm a big fan of cole reagan's he's he's disgusting from the left side so um be interesting to see what happens i got the royals too Yep. Then Colorado's heading into Toronto. It's going to be Ryan Feltner versus Kevin Gosman. He's coming off a really bad start against the Yankees. Uh -huh. um, he was only throwing 90 miles per hour. Hopefully it's not an injury thing. They said it was just the cold, but we'll see. Yep. Dakota Hudson's going against Bowden Francis, who also has been pretty bad to start the season. And then Kyle Freeland versus Jose Barrios in the finale. That's what I got. The Jays, in my opinion, can't hit. But because the Rockies are so freaking bad, they're going to win this series. I'm sorry, Blake, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Rockies end up winning this series, though. I'm going to take Toronto, Listen, but I wouldn't be surprised. If, if the Colorado Rockies beat the Jays, this fan base will be in shambles. 
they will be in shambles, absolute shambles. But that being said, I love the pitching. Uh, Francis has struggled. Hopefully, Gosman in the dome gets his velo back and everything's okay there. But Barrios has been really good to start to start this season. Man, the, if the Jays lose a series, that's be, yeah, it's gonna be bad. I hope that doesn't happen, but I got the Jays winning this series. <laughs> My question to you before we move on is: initially, you're going, yeah, Jays will win. But now looking at the pitching matchups and kind of thinking about what's transpired over the past seven days, are you as confident and uh, Jays easily win this series? I mean, you look at the teams on paper offensively, the Jays should score more runs than the Rockies. You would you would think, but that hasn't been the case for the Jays offense. It's it's uh, either they hit very well or they don't hit at all. That's basically what it is. Flip a coin when you start watching a Jays game. What offense are we going to get today? So um, they got to figure it out quick because it's they're in the one of the toughest divisions in the league. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Then we got the Reds heading into Chicago. Uh, the White Sox, that is. It's mm-hmm. going to be Andrew Abbott versus Chris, Chris Flexen. Nick Lodolo versus Garrett Crochet and Graham Ashcraft against Mike Soroka. I'm going to go with Cincinnati on this one. They are coming off of a series where one of the games got postponed. Yeah. Um, it was a four-game series. It was two, three Brewers. Um, but they are playing the White Sox, who are two and eight, I believe, and one of the worst teams in the league. So they are going to have to go against Garrett Crochet, who's looked disgusting. Mm-hmm. Nick Lodolo makes his uh, season debut. Yeah. Um, Andrew Abbott's looked good. Obviously, offensively, the Reds are much better, and Luis Robert is out, so yep. it's going to be a while for him. You I'm going to take the Reds. Yeah, I'm going to take the Reds too. And I was just going to mention that second game is going to be that might be some game to tune in for. Crochet versus Lodolo, two hard throwing lefties with nasty secondary stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Reds, but that second game was the one I would circle to watch. Yep, and at last we have. The dumpster fire that it is, the Washington Nationals versus the Oakland A's. Uh, wow, this is going to be the <laughs> the. Should uh, I get a, you want me to get a weekend. quarter out? You want me to get a quarter out and flip a coin, heads or tails? That's yeah. what we pick. Ah, oh, it's this is what I will say. Washington <laughs> just took two of three from San Francisco. I like C.J. Abrams. I like Lane Thomas. I like some Mackenzie Gore. Right. So I'm going to lean towards the Nationals way only because Oakland is so awful. So, hey, they just um, took two or three from the Rangers. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go. the I'm going to go the Nats here, too. Although Mason Miller looks absolutely disgusting. He's showing 104 yeah. today. Um, That guy is unbelievable to watch. I'm going to take the Nats here. Um, Oakland, they won what? Two series in a row now? I Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, uh, but yeah, I'll take the. They're best. both hot. They're both <laughs> hot right now. Hot dumpster fire. That's what it is. So, um, it's Jake Irvin versus Paul Blackburn, Mackenzie Gore versus Joe Boyle, and Trevor Williams versus Alex Wood. You heard us. It's gonna be the Nats over the A's in the Coliseum. Yeah, and that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Um, right here, you're seeing our predictions as a whole. Um. Uh, yeah, I I just can't get over this Washington versus A's. I just can't believe we're getting such a matchup uh, to start the season. Um, but yeah, uh, just the recap: I got the Angels, Cleveland, uh, Texas, Minnesota, L.A., Atlanta, Pittsburgh, St. Louis, Baltimore, Chicago, San Francisco, Kansas City, Toronto, and Washington. Blake Scott, Boston. New York, Texas, Minnesota, L.A., Atlanta, Philly, Arizona, Baltimore, Chicago, San Francisco, Kansas City, Toronto, and Washington. Um, I think I actually met, mixed one of those up. I have Arizona, you have St. Louis. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Other than that, that's going to do it for this week. Um, looking forward to see how we do this weekend. If yeah. you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.